Well, hello to all my friends in uh, Donovan Church. I hope you're keeping well. Let us look at some amazing scripture. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have seen his glory, glory as of the only son from the father, full of grace and truth. And we read that in John 8, 14. Could there be a more important moment in the universe than this? The eternal, all-powerful God of creation, entering time and taking on human flesh, becoming God and man in one person. When I meditated on this incredible truth, I spent time in awe of our amazing God. But then, for a split few moments, my thoughts went over to those people in other faiths that worship a God that they see as distant and unknowable. Little do they know that God is far from distant and that for a time in history he dwelt among us in human form and this changes everything in so many different levels. For one, it means that we know with a certainty that he has experienced our human weakness. He has felt great sorrow and experienced real pain in human form and this gives us great comfort as we go through our own trials in life. Prior to this momentous event in history, it was only God's chosen people that experienced his presence in the tabernacle. Yet, at the appointed time, in the form of Jesus, the people would be exposed to a fuller and more personal presence of the living God. Now, of course, the word came from a place of glory in heaven with the Father. But when on earth and dwelling among us, we are told, we have seen his glory as the only Son from the Father. And people did see his glory in the form of many signs and wonders. Yet even at this special time in history, not all could see his glory, even accusing him of working with the devil. Therefore, it was only through faith that the people could see Jesus for who he really was. And it's the same for us today. We only experience his transforming power and see the glory of God through faith. Praise God. For the word becoming flesh, experiencing our human weakness and dying for our sins, that we may enter into a personal relationship with God. We see your glory, God, and we praise you.